<clears throat> All right, boys. I feel like lately I've been doing a lot of very long talky talky clips, especially the last few. So I'm not gonna make this one too long. We're gonna do more NASA stroll. You guys know what we need. And if you don't, watch the other videos. I'll see you guys there. Hopefully, some actual loot today. <clears throat> Almost half an hour in. No drops yet. What's new? I don't know. NASA doesn't like this account for some reason. It's crazy. I didn't think this would be such a hard task to get a few tones. Just based on my econ brush experience here at NASA. I'm also finding out that Dragon Eyes are pretty fucking good, probably because I can use the Karazi blessing with it. Maybe I should just get rid of the DDS, especially because DDS requires you to bring like super combats and shit to actually hit something properly and just start stacking up Dragon Knives if we get enough of them, or I can just use them as I get them, I guess. Doesn't matter too much. But if I get like enough of them, maybe it's worth to start saving. I say that. But the shit resets in three days. It, we gotta get it done ASAP, honestly. Ah, NASA just doesn't like me, I don't know. Drop something, please, I beg. Zero drops, by the way, nothing. Not even a thousand trading sticks today. Or in this first half hour, I should say. Yes, 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 there it is. A Tome of Shadows, boys, let's fucking go. I'm thinking that's only number three, though. We'll just try and get multiple, get as many as we can, but that is, oh, that already makes me happy, a third one. The funny thing is, personally, I think it's gonna be borderline, not entirely, but very close to redundant once we get TOA and we get a Tumukin Shadow. I don't see this thing having nearly as much value as it does currently. Basically, Shadow Barrage is one of the best in slot range set or magic setups you can get right now, uh, in terms of raw DPS. Sometimes you switch that out with Blood Barrage though for the healing, but in terms of raw DPS while hitting multiple targets, it is the best. It should theoretically beat the Tumacan Shadow in terms of multi-target hitting, but obviously against single targets it won't stand a chance. I assume, you know, I, I want to have a bit of hope that they make the Tumacan really fucking strong as you would expect it to be. Um, but... Regardless, maybe it will see future use and whatever the fuck, I just want to get it done, you know, I want to have enough that, to, at least four, at least get one more. Then we'll have four, and if we ever want to use them in Grandmaster Chambers or whatever the fuck, we'll have them. Which is ironic, because we barely ever use them there anymore, because we just melee vanguards nowadays, but... Eh, whatever other use, demonic gorillas, other stuff you want to kill in uh, Legendary Zone at once, yada yada yada, it's just nice to have, and... That way we will never, ever, ever have to worry about getting them again. For whatever reason, if... I don't know. Maybe we'll find something else where it's useful. God knows. But we'll have them. <laughs> oh, sorry for the rant. I'm, I'm just happy I got it, boys. And there we go. With four minutes remaining, we get ourselves another Tome of Shadows. That's it. That's NASA completed as far as I'm concerned. Fuck the Razi Dagger. There's no point in hunting that for Jungle Demon at this point. Because there's literally... Three days remaining until the reset, but I do plan to do some Jungle Demon. If my boy Ghost gets online tonight, I would love to do some deals with him. That way we could uh, potentially just stack up a little bit on the Blood Diamonds department for uh, Sang Staffs, Blood Rapiers, Holy Rapier Eye, all of that stuff, right? Just that that's literally the last thing I want to do on this island for now. Just, just have a couple, you know, it's 150 per weapon. So if we could get maybe like 450 combined, which sounds like a lot, but if you deal with and you're doing and Jungle Demon and every Blood Shaman you can find and maybe one can scour the main or like just around the main island and then go back and forth to the Jungle Demon, I don't fucking know. But we'll just do the best we can, get as many as possible. Even 300 would be nice, that, that's enough for two Sang Staffs or at least enough to make the Holy Rapier Eye, so that would be cool. Either way, we got two Tomo Shadows this trip. I'm extremely excited and happy about that because someone is uh, bringing the garbage out, I think. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, that interrupted me for a second. Yeah, we're done here. Um, happiness, we have four tomes. I don't think we'll ever need more. Suddenly they bring out like a new Tome of Shadows eye and it's a 5% enchant requiring a Tome of Shadows and now you need like 30 of them. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be the last kill because my familiar just disappeared and killing this without his ass. I'm not even gonna pick up that bone key. You know what, I picked up one earlier. I still have one in the bank as well. Get rid of it. We're not coming back. Fuck you, Naza. I never liked you anyway. You're a bit of a shitty boss to hunt, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, good luck to everyone else who still needs their Tomes. I wish you the best. 
It's not the worst, it's very doable, it's just really annoying. Like, it, it requires a lot of attention and I don't like that. Alright, time to leave the island for now. Um, I don't really have anything else I want to do there right now. I'm not gonna solo jungle demon, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, it's slow. More fun to do, but uh, yeah. That was a nice trip, I'm happy we managed to finish it off like that. More than like getting in planes and opening those for upgrades and yada yada, it's not worth it at this point into the month when it's so close to resetting. Um, so yeah, just relief, I think that's the word I've been looking for, I'm relieved that that is done. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I want to do next, I'm gonna start off with some dinner and think about it. Alright then guys, I'm literally a bit stuck on what to do next we have so much at this point it's like yeah okay well we're not gonna do more mass tasks for the ancient god swords because we know now for sure they're gonna be revamped so that would be a waste of time uh getting them ready as grandmaster bottles is an option but that's not in particularly like the difficult part if you ask me we just need to collect rune coins in order to do that and we will be buying all our weeklies as much as we can which reminds me that the weekly stores did reset today so i'm capable of doing that again um but 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 we just have so much you know like what else can i actively go for especially so there's a lot of raid items we still want but i don't really feel like raiding all on my own without the group iron man it just feels less worth it less fun there's a lot more appeal to doing it as a trio or even a four man where you actually see a good amount of purples and stuff. Even if it's not in your name, it doesn't matter, you know, all of them are for all of us. So it makes it very appealing to run those, but yeah. Um, I do have a shitload of M shards. I could go ahead and buy another one of these, to be honest. Another uh, 3,000 donor? No, it's 5,000 donator tickets. That's at least another three gems. Not bad. Do I have Soul Hunter points remaining? Haven't done my Soul Hunter last week, to be fair. Two Wonder Elixirs, buy the reroll scroll. Not those. Scam. Ten bottle? Yeah, that's one Grandmaster bottle for 500 points. It's not really worth. Or like, slightly less. I think it's eight. Either way, that's not too important. We have enough Infernals. Wonder Elixirs are just always worth buying. Did I get them from this shop? Yes, okay. <laughs> the one thing I am very low on, though, is the regular ones. Uh, fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the uh, vote elixirs. Goddamn, bro. I keep missing vote bosses, literally. Logged in earlier today. When I started the NASA trip, it was at, like, 48. Just came back from dinner, logged back in, and it's at 38. Like, I'm always gone at the moment where it actually spawns, even if I am on for a whole long-ass time waiting for it to spawn, and it doesn't come, I gotta go. And that's when it spawns, you know? Anyway, few free glorious gems, that's gonna be nice for more rune coin exchanges. I think we used all the last ones uh, that we had remaining at the time. Um, and that brings me back to the point of, you know, what the fuck do I want to do? <laughs> I, I am not entirely sure, but I did want to give something a try. I don't know if it's worth it or efficient at all, but I wanted to try soloing Nex. And, uh, well, Nex is one of the few things where we actively need items from, because Crestorf, obviously, it's just really good. We'd love to have more sets. Uh, even if no one else is on, I wanted to see if it's viable. If it's fast enough to say, you know what, this ain't too bad now. But if it feels like a pain in the ass or I die a lot or it's just really slow, then I don't want to bother. But the big change why I want to suddenly do that now um, is the Ancient Gods of Ornament. The Flamberg sadly doesn't work on X. I don't know why they did it, but it, it might have to do with like magic defense or something. Uh, it's actually a little theory that... Uh, my boy Ghost came up with the other day, based on where the Flamberg was really hitting well and where it was hitting dog shit, we kind of started to notice like, hey, it's the same few bosses that you keep specking very poorly on while the other bosses you hit amazing on. Also, I am moving my accessories real quick uh, because unyieldings don't work at next. I saw a post about it as well on Discord and I saw that Nate replied to it with like noted or something so I don't know if they're gonna change it back or what but at the moment they don't work there uh, whether it's on purpose or not is irrelevant they don't work so brute accessory is gonna be the way 5% damage when using one-handed weaponry I mean what else am I gonna use that's with the Xerite crossbow uh, two recharges for the special attack back and a maniacal I'm hoping that works out and then I can restore a bit of spec on the uh, little reavers and stuff 
I mean, I knew things don't work. My only other idea was to try using a Necromancer Tome with like a Unicorn to spam heals and then get rid of it at the end of the kill and drop my Luck Bet, you know? So I, I would still get the drop rate bonus from my Luck Bet, but I would do the kill a little, potentially, a little bit faster using the Necrotome and summoning. Not sure how that would work out. I want to test this out for sure. I enjoy, I don't enjoy the idea of having to summon something new and having to dismiss it every kill, but other than that, it might be an option. So yeah, let's get geared for next. We have Hydra Leather Boots now. I want to give those a go, because I've never used them before. Oh yeah, because I always use Galvanic. Duh. Yeah, Galvanics, <laughs> they're a little bit better. I can bring them as a switch though, that's fine. And fuck them all. We don't want that, we want the Ancient God Sword Ornament. Not sure if I want to bring like a full melee switch for that just to increase my accuracy. I, could, I can do that. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what to expect and if this is going to be the best way to do it, but it is the way that I am going to try it. Should preload it properly. I'm gonna just go ahead and showcase the f you know first full kill, but I do think I should use the instance because this is gonna be very slow. Hold up. Let's make sure we do this because I'm not sure what to expect here. Um, so I think it will be interesting to show it with you guys. And hey, if I have it on video, I'll also be able to see exactly how long the kill was because this is one of those few bosses in the game that doesn't have a timer whatsoever, unfortunately. So. Let's go ahead and see. Probably have my Galvanic Boots on in case it restores right after specking, but I'm not sure if it will on the first hit after the logging. No, look at that. It's very close to restoring already. Its HP is not very high in a solo, and like back then, the hardest part I remember about doing solos when Next first came out was how incredibly rough the last phase was because you were fighting against the healing effect, and it just took a long time, but since then, obviously, there's been two massive changes. One, all the gear and weaponry since then have gotten a little stronger. I mean, Zerat Crossbow is still the best, and it has been the best. But other small little things like Zealot's Eye that came out, or maybe the pet or certain accessories, and other changes like that, and then stuff like the Ancient God Sword is gonna help a lot in the last phase. This is a bit unfortunate though, getting pulled twice on the first phase. It's a bit unlucky, but... We'll just wait for the uh, cough to be over, it will end regardless when the second minion dies and then I'll restore my stats real quick and we'll be good. Not the fastest P1 though, obviously. Not the fastest, but it's okay. Go for another Zerite Cross, but the reason I'm using this instead of the Ancient God Sword is because first of all, it can spec probably just as high if not higher. It's weak to the uh, Zerite Crossbow, so it has a pretty high chance of hitting. And then on top of that, um, it also lowers the defense, so it makes the rest of the phase a lot easier if I use it. But it is a little put on the bolts. I'm gonna try and use the Chasm Quaker bow a bit more on the minions, so I can restore special in between that. I just realized I didn't even use my uh, special restore pets and all of that because I'm commentating and I forget about that kind of stuff. I'm not fully focused. Ooh, let's run back a little bit. Hit one of the minions in between. That way we can uh, get some spec back from those afterwards. Raymond, you're gonna be full spec when this ends. Yeah, don't worry about that. Oh wait, it's at 41. Why did that one have to get one shot? That's kind of lame. Not what I wanted. Go here. Pull the minion. Now. Ah, oh, I was a little too early. Man, this kill is entirely scuffed. End it there. End the clip. Oh no. The embarrassment, bro. I fucked that up so hard. I wanted to spec it as soon as it became vulnerable, but I could literally wait until the text above its head would appear. And then you know for sure you're doing it right, but no. I got a little too cocky. Oh well. It's still by no means a slow kill, though. It's not feeling like, ooh, mega slow. It's just little things where I instantly notice, oh yeah, that could have been faster, you know? But all with all this isn't... Like god awful yet, yet. About to become god awful because I just got frozen. That one, that it won't hit you for 90, so it's not, you know, that worrisome. Okay. Freeze is a bit annoying. Especially in a solo, because no one else is killing the minion because of this. Ay, ay, ay. We're learning, we're learning. This is the first kill, guys. Next kill, I'll go ahead and stand closer to the minion, so if that happens, I can kill it in the meanwhile. 
stuff like that what we're learning it's fine it's fine copium all right right away i want to go ahead and start using the ancient gut sword before it starts praying melee which it most definitely will do soon right away we can knock off 500 damage right there it's gonna pray melee not too bad that's fine the next time it turns it off, we'll go ahead and finish it off with the, with the Ancient God Sword right there. Hope it doesn't melee me. Oh, yeah, that, it's gonna melee me. <laughs> but it's okay. Should die right here. And good luck. I didn't get my Soothsayer on. That's a bit of a mistake. It's not too bad. How long did that take? Like four minutes? Not the fastest, obviously, but could definitely be slower. <laughs> 